Hey guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Wham Bam flexible build plate for my CR10S Pro. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. So, like I mentioned in my last review on my um, Creality flex build plate for my TiVo Tarantula Pro, that I, or I uh, got donated to me this Wham Bat. Um, flexible build plate and it is the giant 300 by 300 um, millimeter build plate for my brand new CR10S Pro so I'm gonna be um, opening it for you guys and showing you what comes inside and then also um, assembling it or putting it on my build plate for my CR10S Pro so right away um, it actually comes with a like a gray plastic bag over it to protect the cardboard but other than that it's just this giant box um, it's a really thin box, but it says uh, fragile, please do not drop, and then it says it's a flexible build plate system designed in Florida, and then it says wham bam, wham bam all over. So I just cut it open on the top because I wasn't going to tear it. Um, and what comes in on the top is just the, um, the steel wool that you use to scrape the bed with, and then you can pull out the actual build plate. It's nice and packaged up, and you're gonna need a knife for opening this. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. So just cutting it open, um, one thing I wanna mention is if you order one of these and you accidentally order the wrong size, they will not refund you, which kinda sucks, but then again, you gotta know what you are ordering. Um, so know that in advance, obviously. Um, so it's just sandwiched in between two pieces of cardboard. I'm just gonna throw over there. And it is in a like an envelope kind of thing. And we're going to slide it out. And this thing is massive. So just once again in this like sheet of cardboard. Um, and then in here you get a sticker. As you can see, I think there's a couple of them there. And then um, I believe the instructions are in here. But it's basically self-explanatory. And what you get here is your build plate and then your PEI sheet, which is sandwiched in between, and then your um, your magnetic sheet, and this is 3M, which is just like the Creality build plate, so uh, 3M is very popular in this magnetic, um, in these magnetic build plates. So, what we have to do is, I know I've seen other people do this before I've watched reviews. So what we're going to do first, I'm just going to let you know, we're going to install the, or we're going to take off the old uh, Creality build, fake build tack surface, um, clean it down with rubbing alcohol, then we're going to put the magnetic sheet on there, clean that off, um, and then we're going to put the actual, the metal part of this, the flex build plate, on there. And then we're going to wipe that down with rubbing alcohol, and then we can install the PEI sheet, which um, should help with prints sticking really well to this uh, build surface. So let's move over to the printer. Let's take off the old stuff, and then we'll start assembling and um, putting everything together. What I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to heat up the bed to 60 degrees. And this thing actually um, heats up pretty fast. And then I'm also going to move the uh, z-axis up to about 100 millimeters just to get it out of the way and so it, it will be easier to install the actual build surface um, and so once that's lifting up what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get these um, pieces off here these hold in the actual metal piece that holds this on I'll show you that in a second And then this thing actually slides out, as you can see here. So you have this whole build surface, which you can use on a different printer, or just keep it in case something happens to your new new build surface. Um, so then there's these clips here, like I just pulled off. Now we're not going to need them for this new system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, unscrew them, and it's just super simple. Just use the bag or use the tools that comes with it. Okay. 
So right now, just for the lack of, for the time, um, I am actually going to leave the back ones on um, because there's no, it's really hard to take them off in the back. Um, as you can see, I had a little bit of struggle of um, taking these front ones off just because of the kind of nut that they use. So I'm actually going to cool down my bed because it's getting, it's kind of hot. Um, so we're just going to install this now. The bed is actually pretty clean and I haven't really touched it that much with my fingers. So I'm just gonna leave it. So we're just gonna line this up a little bit. Make sure it's pretty even. So what I've actually figured out from past experience, obviously from that other uh, build surface is they're a lot smaller than the actual uh, build surface of the printer. So this is smaller than the original size. At least the magnetic part is. So I'm just gonna line it up and you can always uh, move it. So I got it on there, everything's good, no bubbles. Make sure you get all your bubbles out. Um, I did have to peel it up as you saw because it wasn't centered. Um, but now what we're gonna do is just see how everything goes on here. Line it up as best as I can. As you can see, it grabs it. Um, so there's that. And now we're gonna add the PEI on it. So I'm actually gonna grab the instructions really quick and check those out. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean the build, build surface um, with some rubbing alcohol. And they say use paper towel, but I don't have one down here. So I just have this Mr. Clean um, magic eraser so I'm just gonna put some rubbing alcohol on here once again I uh, turn off the heat of the bed and then I'm just going to wipe it down a little bit get rid of all the finger finger fingerprints and all the grease okay so that should be good let it dry a little bit so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the, it's actually the PEX. So I believe that's the same thing, but don't quote me on that. They just named it PEX and they got this cool little logo down here. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to peel off about an inch on the top and then um, squeegee it. We're gonna put it part of it on there and slowly peel away the backing until it's all on there and then squeegee the rest of the, or squeegee the bubbles out. All right, so after the PEX um, is on there and everything is good, what you wanna do is you wanna peel off the protective sheet. It's just this clean, this film. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take the steel wool that came with the bed and then you're gonna take some rubbing alcohol. You're gonna put a little bit on your bed and you're just gonna rub it in with the steel wool. Okay, so as you can see, the print finished. Um, it's cooled down, the bed is about 33 degrees. So now I'm gonna flip the camera around and then I'm gonna show you guys how easy the prints come off with this flexible build plate. So right away, all I gotta do is grab the two sides and flip it up, just like that. There's one, and as you can see, the other one comes off. Now, if they stuck a little harder, if they were sticking too much, then I would just come and flex it just like this. But as you guys can kind of see on there, I'm not sure if you can, but I did end up having to put some glue stick on there because uh, it was not sticking at all without the glue stick, so I'm not sure if this build plate is a little different than the actual um, Creality one, but on the Creality one I actually did end up putting glue stick on it. Some people say you don't need it and you should just clean it off to make sure that everything sticks, but I ended up needing to put glue stick on it because it just kept failing too much and I didn't want to keep wasting filament. Um, but one thing I'd say, don't use a um, 
spatula on this like you would on a glass bed just so that you don't scratch the bed so um just basically everything comes off really easily but again i do prefer using glue stick um and i've seen a lot of other people use it too so if you are having a hard time getting everything to stick definitely try out some glue stick all right guys so that is it for the video today i hope you enjoyed the review uh once again uh wham bam uh systems did not send me this i did get this donated to me by um, actually it was one of my cousins who purchased it for me to make this printer print a lot better and make it uh faster to do more headbands at a time as you guys saw those were headbands for the um 3d printed shields for uh face shields for our hospital that i'm doing as you guys know the last video i posted but other than that that is it for the review let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments I will post a link to this actual build plate down below um, in the description. I believe it was about $86, um, but then it was more because we wanted to get it here faster. Um, so I believe the shipping is um, 30 days or 5 to 10 days, and you pay obviously more for 5 to 10 days. We wanted to get it here faster. Unfortunately, it did not come as fast as we wanted to just because... Um, everything coming across the world uh gets delayed unless it is ppe because that is uh needed more right now so fortunately it came late but i hope you guys enjoyed the video again let me know if you have any questions down below and i hope to see you in the next one stay safe bye